Hey everyone, I know I haven't been on here in a while, but I wanted to stop back and do a favorites video for May. And let's get started with the favorite face product. It has been the Garnier BB Cream Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector. My shade is medium deep. I've been using this every day. Prior to this, I was using the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Foundation in Golden Beige which was my more of winter spring color. My summer color is rich ginger. I love that, but I like the more lightweight feel and more natural look that this gives. Also, I went ahead and wore my Photo Ready airbrush yesterday, and it was just so hot and humid out here. As soon as I stepped outside, it was literally melting off my face. And when I wear this one, I don't have that problem. I can wear this in the hot weather. I even work out with this on, and it doesn't melt off my face. And this is SPF 15. I have a video review on this as well, and I love it. It feels like a tinted moisturizer. The next item here is a blush by MAC. It's super continental. It's a peachy coral color and it's a satin blush. It was limited edition. The next one was also limited edition. I think you might be able to get these at the CCOs. This is Daft Pink. It's pink with gold swirled through it. It's a mineralized blush. Love it. The next one is by Mark. It's called Light Show. It's an illuminating face powder. It's baked. And this is a bronze colored illuminator. It's really nice to just brighten up your face for everyday use without overdoing it. It's very neutral, so it goes with any look. I do want to get that liquid, um, the strobe cream, the bronze color that MAC has out right now. I think it'll be like a liquid bronzer. It reminds me of the NARS Laguna Illuminator, so hopefully it's a more affordable option to that. Next item that's a favorite is the Wet n Wild Lip Balm, the SPF 15. These are like $2 or less. I love them. They're so hydrating. I have this on now. My daughter loves it as well. She's always stealing this and putting it all over her face. So I think I will get her the clear color so that she doesn't make a mess. Next is the NYC Big Bold Lip Gloss. It's a lip plumper in super size red. Love these. I don't necessarily see it plumping up my lips, but it's a very nice gloss without being sticky. I believe it was under $2 as well. Next item is the Avon Super Extend Extreme Mascara. I've been using this daily and I love it. It's really, really great for volume. I'm sorry, it's great for length, more so than volume. It's a great lengthening mascara for volume. I like to use the one in the orange tube by them. Let's take a look and see which one this is. That is the Infinitize Super Extend. This one is good for volume. This one is good for length. They're actually both favorites, but I prefer this one for everyday use. I love how it lengthens with, without clumping up. And the last item is a concealer. I love this. Best concealer ever. Prior to this, I was using the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Concealer, which is quite pricey, but I love this. It actually goes on creamy, but it sets down so that it does not smear off your face, and it has really, really great coverage for redness, dark spots, under eye circles. It's amazing. It's the CoverGirl and Olay Concealer Balm, and I have the shade Light Medium. I also have medium as well. So those are my monthly favorites. Please feel free to do a video response. I would love to see your favorites. 
And boy, May sure flew by because I feel like it was just the beginning of May. Now it's the end of May. We have something called progress notes at work where I, we have to do notes on each of our clients. And those have been posted already every time around the 20th of the month. So when we get to the end of the month, progress notes are coming. That's a sign that it's time for the next month to begin. So that went pretty fast. I can't believe it's almost June. I love summer, but I hope that it doesn't go too fast because I won't be ready for wintertime again. Okay, and I hope everyone has a great day.